what's up guys got a little short video here of the uh of a pelican kayak i just recently picked up a few days ago uh, it's official I, I think i'm becoming a kayak addict it's just so fun to do and uh this makes my fourth kayak uh, i'm a big fisherman i love to fish this is the uh angler special it's the pelican uh you can see right there on the side of it uh, banks 100 um, angler model it's set up for fishing um, it's a great looking kayak i love the color of it but uh, yeah this is just a little short short video uh, a little overview with uh i'm gonna give you guys the specs on this kayak um, and hopefully later on next week i'll be better it's a little chilly today but when the weather gets better i'm gonna take it out to the local lake and uh, do a little bit of fishing but let's take a look at it then uh, all right we'll start off at the back uh it's got the uh rear grab handle uh as well as on the front got the front grab handles makes it easy to carry uh, it's uh Kayak's got the uh, adjustable footrest. If I can get down here and show you guys, you see right there on the left and on the right, they are they are fully adjustable. Got a little lever on the back. All you got to do is just push it in, and they slide in and out. Um, so no matter how tall you are, uh, you'll be able to fit in this kayak pretty pretty darn comfortable. Uh, it's got the knee pads, rubberized knee pads. You can see right here. Uh, kind of brace yourself against the kayak when you're when you're paddling. Uh, makes a great uh, handhold, and we don't dig the plastic into your uh, into your fingers. So when you're getting the kayak in and out of the water. It's a great help. Um, it's got an Argo form padded backrest with the uh, seat cushion, which I really like. A lot of the cheaper kayaks doesn't have this. I have a couple of the uh, Sun Dolphin Aruba tins and they do not come with this uh, padded seat cushion. So that, that's a really nice item, I, I like that. It's a nice feature. Uh, the back, back support, fully adjustable. As you can see here, both sides, just uh, let the straps in and out, ever how you want it. Uh, this kayak has the front hatch, but I will say that with most kayaks of the, you know, budget friendly ones, uh, they are water resistant, but not waterproof. They do not have no, no rubber gasket around them, so they will get water inside of here. So just keep that in mind. So uh, but great to keep small items in. Uh, one item or one feature I really like about this kayak is uh, the back part of it here. This little storage area, it's like a little trunk area. It's recessed. Uh, plenty of room here to carry anything you want to clothing wise camping gear fishing gear anything you want to carry it's got the bungee cords really nice lots lots of room uh lots of storage area uh, also this kayak has got the well the fishing part of it uh, it's got the uh, flush mount rod holder right here uh, one thing i really like about this rod holder is if you can see down in there i know it's kind of dark probably can't see it but uh, it's closed off on the bottom so that way if any water spills over this kayak and goes down in here it does not drain into the rest of the kayak you can just tilt the kayak over and drain that out that's a really nice feature um, up here it has the uh, swivel rod holder as you can see it sits down in there it's flush mount the rod holder swivel it lift it up swivel any way you want to drop it down to lock it in position it has a little slide lock to hold your rod in position. The side does adjust to tilt up and down any way you want, want it to go. And lock it back in place. Uh, this kayak has a huge cockpit, uh, which I really like about it. I mean, it has plenty of room to get in and out of it. Uh, it has a little flat area up here. Uh, they call it the cockpit table. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, maybe keep small items on, mount stuff, camera mounts, whatever you want to do. It has a little uh, water bottle holder right here. Uh, also down here on the seat, it has a water bottle holder. Uh, let's go on around the kayak and look. 
oh yeah back here is your drain plug it's a little rubber plug in the back you know at the end of the day you get done kayaking you got water in your kayak you want to get it out you just pull this plug out tilt it up on the uh on the rear part of the kayak let the water drain out and then put the plug back in easy peasy and uh but uh, that's really about all there is to this kayak. But uh, one little detail I do want to show show you guys. Uh, the the uh, sun dolphins do not have this. Uh, but if you can see, the rear stern of the kayak has a little molded built-in rudder, which is kind of nice. Uh, can't wait to get this out in the water and see how it tracks through the water. That's, that'll be interesting. So that's a nice feature. But... Uh, yeah, before I sign off here, I just want to read this to you guys uh, and uh, give you a few of the uh, specs from the factory on this kayak. Uh, the length is 10 feet. The beam is 28 inches. The depth is 14 inches. The cockpit width is 25 inches. The cockpit length is 49 inches. The weight of this kayak is 37 pounds. Uh, this kayak has a maximum capacity of 275 pounds, and the hull material is Ram X hull material. Uh, and if anyone wants to know what that is, that's just a that's the material that the kayak is made out of, and the process that it goes through to be uh, made. So right here with the, this uh, little information sheet that comes with the kayak, uh, I'll read this off to you guys, and uh, this will explain that. It says, this Pelican kayak is made with the twin sheet thermal forming technology that shapes the deck and hull and fuses them together under extreme heat and pressure. We use our exclusive multi-layer Ram X, which is a lighter and higher density material than most other brands of kayaks on the market. So this results in a lighter, stiffer, and stronger kayak. So there you go. I can definitely tell a difference between this kayak and the Aruba 10s that I'm kind of used to uh, being on the water with. Uh, it's definitely a much heavier duty, uh, thicker uh, material was used in this kayak. And uh, I would assume that this kayak can take quite a bit of abuse. So uh, not that I'm going to put it through any abuse, but, you know, if you run into rocks, scrape it on the bottom, you know, dragging it in and out of the water, you know, uh, it, it's, it's not going to hurt it. You know, it'll get a few scratches, but other than that, it'll be fine. So, anyways, there you go, guys. Just a little quick review of this. And when uh, next week when I get it out on the water, I want to do another video and uh, hopefully post it. And hope you guys like this video. Uh, comment, uh, like, subscribe. You know, you know the whole nine yards, man. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Later.